So hi, you're back with Tony B here on Healing Art. And if you've watched the introduction, this video, as you know, is for you if you've got emotional challenges and you want to like turn that around, or maybe you've got physical challenges and you're looking for an alternative way to uh, get those challenges sorted, or indeed you're looking to raise the energy of either yourself or the environment that you live or work in. So uh, video number one is all about uh, the elements. So before I start talking about the elements of the painting, let me just explain that there are three places when we are challenged, either emotionally, mentally or energetically, there are, are three places we can look for assistance. Now, um, if I say to an audience when I'm speaking, um, what do we do if we don't feel well? The answer pretty much gets shouted out, well, we go to the doctors. And look, the doctors live in what I call the science based world. Now, science is an amazing thing. It sort of came to the fold with the Newtonians somewhere in the mid 1600s. And since that time, humans have taken a sort of a pathway where we put all of our trust in science, which, you know, look, I'm not going to make that a wrong thing. It's just an observation that we tend not in today's world to take so much responsibility for our own health. We tend to put um, our health in the hands of people that have studied science, such as doctors, study for a long time so that they are really knowledgeable in that area and then they, they can help us. So that means that we tend to, as I say, put our life in their hands, which is great and you know we get some great results with that and there are many people that are out there looking to see what maybe they could do to assist themselves and from that world there's this sort of um, alternative world that's popped up you know where you can have alternative therapy so let's just think of a couple reiki for example you could go for massage therapy you could go for something like acupuncture which is available in the modern sort of Western world. It's been Westernized, but some of these techniques are very sort of like Eastern based from ancient um, Eastern philosophies. Um, my sister's an acupuncturist, in fact, and she follows the sort of more, you know, Eastern uh, mythology. Whereas if you do get um, uh, this uh, service on the national health, it's sort of been somewhat standardized, scientized and put into a more palatable way for the science based world to utilize it. Now, uh, the alternatives are huge. Uh, one of the things that I've learned, uh, which is incredible, is the power of crystals. You know, when I first found out about the power of crystals, well, I was very questioning when I was um, first came to, was introduced to it, so to speak. Question is, how could a crystal help you? But of course, as I start to learn about them and I started to experience them, more importantly, then um, I started to sort of become a believer. So pretty much anything that you have um, experienced starts to become a solid belief that that can work for you. So crystals have a power. It's one of the sort of alternatives you could call it. Now, then we have the sort of the very um, right wing and um, what I call the esoteric world. So the, the world where there's absolutely no proof and evidence that any of this stuff can work. So it's what, I, what you might call subjective stuff where science is more objectively based. Now, I believe that they all have a part. And if we want to sort of look to work on ourselves, then, you know, delve into the world of alternatives or um, the esoteric, esoteric world and see what you can experience. You know, I do personally believe no harm can come of that. Um, but if you're a very sort of science based person and you think very logically and you're looking for proof and evidence before you get involved in anything, then perhaps this isn't so much for you. So the elements that we're going to be uh, using here or thinking about and considering how this could help us in our current life situations are um, all in this painting. So just think about it. we've got like um, when I talk about elements, we're talking about, look, this is a canvas. This is um, it's got wood inside of it. You know, it's actually quite a deep block of canvas and wood. Yeah, we've obviously got the. The paint that we've used here itself these are elements yeah and then obviously we've got the um, this symbol here which I'm going to explain in detail in another video and of course we've got this crystal this particular crystal um, is um, a, a known as a tiger's eye so basically these different elements when put together 
in one into a piece of art, they sort of interact with each other. So you can see how this is already alternative thinking. Because, look, again, there's perhaps no, no sort of proof or evidence much, certainly not in mainstream science. You'd have to dig a bit deeper into stuff that's not accepted by science. But, you know, it's accepted in worlds beyond where science is. Um, that these elements can actually work together. Now, if we dive deep, like I did when I learned a little bit about crystals, you dive deep into the subject of these different elements and how they're operational in every moment. So, look, this takes some what I call alternative thinking. So we have to like go, OK, could I open myself up to thinking in a way that perhaps I haven't been trained to think? I've been trained to think that if I'm not well, I need to go to the doctors and get it sorted. But could it be there is stuff going on that I'm unaware of that actually might support me or assist me uh, in my life um, in various different areas of that life? So the elements are really important here. And I'm going to start um, in video number two to talk about something that very few people are aware of that is a, a big part of your daily life. I would say, you know, it's sort of said in some works that 95% of people plus wouldn't know anything about what I'm going to share in video two, three and four. Um, they absolutely would never have come across it. So there's only sort of a small percentage, four or five percent of people on planet Earth right now who would have heard anything at all about these elements in a deeper way, what they mean and how they work. So let's just see for those of you that are a little bit open, come to video two and I'm going to explain a little bit about how humans are actually multi-dimensional and what that means. And I'm going to explain about um, the first uh, dimension and the second dimension in a very simplistic way so that you can sort of see how these elements, when they come together with a bit of knowledge, um, we can start to go, hmm, maybe I am open to how a piece of art could help heal me. So that's it for me. Just think of Wow, there are different elements here. Um, how could I potentially use those elements to make a difference in my everyday life? So that's it from me on video one. Video two is probably going to be a bit longer. So be open to learning about the first and the second dimension. Bye for now.